first cut you're going to do uh, is actually counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to cut downward and away. Let's start it that way. I'm going to cut yeah, downward. So it's and almost away. seems backwards. To yeah. Us, okay. It does because let's see. That's the first cut right there. If you notice how it is, it's cut downward and away, and mm -hmm. a lot of people think that's going to be your writing point because it right. makes sense. That's your writing point. Mm -hmm. You haven't even gotten there yet. So, so the writing point now is the very back. Right, the very back part. and upper part of the thread. So mm -hmm. it's got an angle downward and away from you, that first right. cut. And then we're going to put our slit in. Now this is the tricky part because a slit has to be very small. We're going to start by doing a tiny little, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Just barely split there. And you want to widen that to maybe about half an inch or so. Best so it's splitting it back out. Right. Inch, okay. yeah, if you go too far with this, you will split the whole feather and it's no right. good to anybody. And this isn't cut, <coughs> this is actually opening a crack. Yes. Cutting it, you can cut it, but I've had mixed results with that. Mm -hmm. The proper way to do it is to split it. Okay. And the best way to ensure that you're not going to split it too far is you put your thumb down very, very hard at the point where you want it to stop. So this looks like about three eighths of an inch to Just me. about, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That in there, it's not exact science, but. Because everyone would be different. Right. Now let me put it in there and a little crack. Eh. Doesn't Ooh, there it, there it goes. And that's just about right. It almost mm -hmm. went too far, but that's just about right. And then the next thing we're going to do, so we've got our first cut here. We've got our split in the middle. Mm -hmm. Find where the end of that split is. Mm -hmm. Rotate Turn around. Turn over into the back and move your pen maybe three quarters of an inch up, half mm -hmm. an inch up. Mm -hmm. And then it's one scooped cut. But we're not going terribly deep yet. No. Okay, there you go. You go. Yeah, you want to go about half the dimensions of the uh, okay. of the the feather of the, the the barrel. So now it's starting to look something. It like. is, and now you can see what I said earlier. When I do that, when I turn it back over, there's mm -hmm. the point of your pen. Right. All this gets cut out from underneath it. Mm -hmm. Now here comes the difficult part. We're going to have to turn this into a point, mm -hmm. and what you have to do is create what they call the shoulders of the nib, mm -hmm. and that's a couple of, of uh, curved cuts. Now again, an expert can do it uh, in two curved cuts. And this is from the side or from the bottom? This is from the side, side of, bottom. yeah, <laughs> side bottom basically yeah. going forward. So here we go, we're gonna start here, and we're gonna try it, okay. And don't worry if you didn't cut far enough because can always you can always kind of trim it up. I'm doing it kind of awkwardly, if you notice. I'm doing it from way up here, which is difficult which to you usually write. Yeah. This is close work, so be careful about flying chips. Uh, you might want to wear We're protective glasses. Yes, so, yeah. because I've gotten these in my eye before, and it's not fun. So there's our first shoulder, if you notice. And it's a rather ragged shoulder, but that can be trimmed up. Then our next shoulder, you do the same thing. Turn the pen over, cut from here, and start trimming it down. And you'll start to see you're yeah, getting what really looks like down. an actual pen point. Mm -hmm. Now, the most important part of all of this is what comes after. Once you've got it comfortable, and this is just for demonstration mm -hmm. purposes, that's kind of a rough looking pen point. Mm -hmm. The most important part is what they call the nibbing cut. And that's the part most people leave off. You want to get it to a fairly good point here and trim it up just a little bit there. By the way, if you're going to cut like this, I find this cut, watch how I do it. Using that thumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. put your back, your other thumb mm -hmm. against the back of the blade and you can pivot and you can get extremely um, precise cuts. Yeah, you can get, you have a lot of control and exactly. you have a lot of power. Yes, at the same time. and that's kind of what you want here is um, you want some power and some control. Now here's where that stick comes in handy. Stick that inside there, good and firm. And now we have a hard surface we can cut against. Right, 